I've got something in the middle of the day. Got her. The traction bars, as well as there you go. As you know, earlier I put the lower kit on. I should have went ahead and got the airbag helpers for it. Well, I had it all apart, but I didn't, so we're gonna be installing that too. Then we also, you know, got the traction bars. While well, some be taken off. So I'll be taking off the bolts underneath there and the the u-bolts might as well put my traction bars on there while I got all the bolts off and I believe they'll be done for my suspension work all right everyone I got my show the old pictures I got in it and do an unwrap unboxing video just went ahead and went right to it this bracket here it comes with it just sandwiches in between the frame got the bottom on the back so you don't have to do no uh no cutting or nothing it just sandwiches in there you go and then I should do my research before I do my flip kit. If I would have known, I would have put, I would have went ahead and ordered it. This bracket here, that's where your bag screws on at. It actually goes up underneath, up underneath there, underneath your, uh, what they call it, your saddle. It's where you got your two bolts from your your leaf spring pack, bolt pack. And you flip them over to do this flip kit. When you flip them over, you should just put this in there and bolt it all together. Your bag just screws on right there, screws on through the bottom, and then of course you're not going to tighten it all the way up. It's going to get it pretty loose, and then you're going to finger tighten these because when you set your truck down, that's when you go ahead and twist everything around. You may have to move this bag, move this forward to get it all to line up. Um, and then it also come with a shock extension. I'll walk around here. This is all on the driver's side. The shock extension. It's right there. Because your airbag will be uh, rubbed against your shocks. Shock extension. And that's it. I ain't got it plumbed up or nothing yet, but I will. Let me go ahead and uh, show y'all the VAS traction bar and why I chose it. All right, here's the angle on the traction bar. Got these two brackets here. Your lever. This here, before you have to cut off a, a bracket that's on there, um, I'll show you on the rear. That bracket there that you actually have to cut We'll cut it about right there. Cut this side off, this piece off. You'll grind down this rivet, and there's actually a, uh, when you take it off, it'll be exposed, and that's what you use to line it up. So you don't want to cut this off and then cut cut it smooth. You want to cut it right there, and it also comes with instructions. So you cut it right there, grind that off smooth with this bracket piece, tap it with a little hammer, and it'll fall right off, leaving a little nipple exposed, lime it thin or whatever. And that's what you'll use for this piece to line it up. It's that. And here's the back. And the see how did us all at one time while I was doing the flip kit and everything. Then your bracket piece. Now, I double nutted this just to be side of caution. You know, after you drive it around for a little bit, you want to re tighten everything back up. And uh, the reason why I chose this kit is because I can just undo this bolt here, undo that bolt there, undo this bolt here, come over and undo this bolt, and I can just undo that bolt. There we go. Undo this bolt here, one over there, and just take it all off. And don't even have to worry about having the traction bar. But this one is fully adjustable. Got your two nuts right there. Um, you can tighten it all the way up. Your bushing's all the way against your, your spring there. Or you can leave it a little loose. Now, I got my truck up on jacks. That's why it's, it's down here. It is all the way touching. I got tightened up all the way. Um, it definitely helps out when you're launching and everything. Um, but you can leave it loose. You can loosen it up to this far. You know, just drive around the 
around town, you know, going over rocks and stuff won't be, t you know, making any noises or nothing. Here, um, this is the only problem I had with this kit because, you know, I'm using two different, I'm using a different flip kit than what they offer. They also offer flip kits and everything. What you got right under here, I'm going to get the light there. There you go, got your two nuts. Now I had to, uh, not really grind it out. Just kind of file it down a little bit to get my to get the nuts to fit and also to line I'd line them up straight with this and then had to file it down so they'll fit straight in there but they do fit pretty good. That's about it. See if I wanted to uh, do my research before I would order this all at one time and just did it all at once instead of coming back and dropping this and jacking this up putting this. but on the uh, driver's side I'll show you that. Alright guys, here we are back on the driver's side. I'm going to show y'all the bottom brackets. What I had to do on the driver's side, you my phone in focus here. Camera in focus, there we go. You cut, you notch the bracket out a little bit, fit your shock in there. And the only thing I'd have to do to this bracket to make it fit on this kit, on my HC kit, which uh, they do offer the, uh, the flip kit of their own. But uh, you just gotta line your nuts up, and then also had to file just the inside down a little bit. Stick a file through there and kind of file, file it down just a little bit to get the nuts in there. But just line your nuts up, file this down a little bit up here, slide on. And on like I said on the driver's side, you just have to cut your little notch in there. But that's about it. Yeah, that's about all I did to get this kit to work with this flip kit. Now, like I said, they do offer a. Uh, a flip kit of their own so it'd probably be a little a little easier but that's it all right like i said the driver's side so when it takes all this special care you cannot slide your back bracket in here because you got all your your brake lines and fuel line and all that stuff here um it's just a 10 millimeter just pop that off slide it up in there all right there we go. And that's all you do is loosen your tin up. It'll still fit. Got that hole there. This was undo this one here. It also fits back in its hole. And that's it for this side. Just snug up against there. Make sure it ain't gonna do no rubbing on your fuel lines. Everything looks good and sturdy. It's in there. Alright, and that's it. But 